friends. Welcome back to Crazy Brave Homeschool. Today I'm gonna to be going over this adorable little rainbow unit study, perfect for a preschooler or kindergartner, first grader, second grader, um, and great for March. So to get started with some of these resources, I'll show you this adorable card. This comes from a collection of meditation cards for kids. And uh, on the front, there's always like a really great photo. And then on the back is like a script for the parent to read to the child um, to have a little um, quiet, uh, intentional um, time. So I just thought that was perfect because of the rainbows, obviously. My hundred chart comes from the beauty of play. And this is perfect for obviously the little ones learning to count. It's just a great visual. I got a few books from the library and I'm still deciding which one I wanna read for our science unit. Um, I'm hoping that we will look through all of the ones I got, but they're all a little similar. But I like how simple this is, not a ton of text, nothing too complicated for them to understand. This was a really great little freebie I found. I will link where I found these. Um, this is a really simple little letter and object rainbow puzzle. So I printed this out on cardstock. I didn't bother laminating it because to be quite frankly, I am so tired of laminating this year. I am taking a break. But um, this was a really cute little resource here. So hopefully my four-year-old will enjoy this one as he is just starting out learning his letters. Also excuse the floor that very badly needs to be swept. This is a new one. We have not tried these out. Um, gosh, what is the name of these? I think they're called Quick, Quick Dice, Quicks. I will, sorry about that, I'll link the name, um, but it's like a quick addition game, so this might be better suited for my first grader, although I just like leaving them out as a fun resource for them to play with as they like. And then I always show this little resource. I love these writing tiles um, that I put out very often for our little units. I had to grab my rainbow colored magnetic letters of course, you could even like include these with a little uh, magnetic whiteboard. This is also a common resource that I use for pretty much every unit study. One of our favorite nature study books, Slow Down. I love it because it is just a two page, easy to digest little nature study. And this one, of course, on rainbows. We have our rainbow colored uh, magnetic shapes here. So again, would be great to pair this with a little whiteboard. This is an easy reader um, rainbow study that this would be good to read to my preschooler or if you had older kids that could read it to the little ones, this would be perfect for that. And then here I have my rainbow colored uh, days of the week spinner. I found this idea on Pinterest. The kids really like doing this. It's helped them learn their days of the week. A couple more book resources here. Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. Always a great go-to. Although I have, um, I've not used this one. Oopsie. I don't use this one as often as I want to because I can never display the pages. Um, it, the book doesn't stay open very well. It's my only little thing about that book that I don't like. So we honestly don't use it all that much, but I think eventually we will. This one um, is really similar to the first one in terms of like the content, but again, I'm hoping my kids really get into this and they want to keep exploring. Another favorite resource here, my four-year-old loves this puzzle, um, and 
and it's it's really cute it has these little rings for counting it can get a little messy to clean up but all in all a great resource this has been a nice thing to put out for my four-year-old while I'm teaching my first grader math. Another favorite resource here, I use this with my first grader a lot, but uh, my four-year-old definitely enjoys it too. This is a um, like a, a hundred board from Treasures, from Treasures from Jennifer, and she also sells it with these wool balls. I've showed this in past videos, so I won't go on and on, but as you can see, this could be a really fun little counting um, or like shape activity for your little ones. And then I always put out coloring sheets with just about every unit study that I do. This is a fun thing for them to do while I am reading the books to them. These stock mark crayons are a new addition to our homeschool. Um, I would say they probably would be a little more popular had I brought them in early on, but the kids have gotten very used to markers. <laughs> um, but they do use them when I put them out and they are just a really like buttery, great quality crayon. So I'm hoping that the kids will get more and more into them. Here I have a meteorology activity book. Uh, we haven't really dove into this yet, so I'm hoping that we finally will. Lots of weather stuff, and then there's a little spread here on rainbows. So many different fun resources you can bring in for a unit like this. This was really fun hunting down stuff because ultimately I was just looking for color <laughs> for the most part and realized that we have a lot of rainbow things in our homeschool. This is a Rainbow Busy Book that I, um, I believe that I bought from Etsy and then printed out on cardstock and laminated myself and then got the little sticky Velcro circles to attach, um, which you could do or not do. But uh, my son has enjoyed this for the past several months. I haven't taken it out in a while. So uh, I'm hoping that he will jump right back into this one for our Rainbow Unit. This one got pretty funny. And that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little mini unit study on rainbows. This is perfect for March. I hope you have a great month and I will see you next time.